Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about Diophantus and a little bit about Greek algebra. Greek algebra? Did the Greeks do algebra? Certainly, they were focused on geometry, and numerical concepts were approached geometrically. Proofs were constructed, constructive geometric proofs, even for number theory and algebraic results. The term algebra is Arabic, and it comes from several centuries later than the period we are now studying. So a, full, a more full-blown algebra would have to wait for several hundred years. Furthermore, any concept of a variable or unknown was expressed in words rather than in symbols. Nevertheless, Mesopotamian mathematicians and, and some Egyptians as well solved several practical problems that are equivalent to solving linear and quadratic equations. So in that sense, algebra definitely dates back to the ancient Mesopotamians. And some Greeks definitely con continued in this tradition. In particular, I want to bring forward Diophantus of Alexandria. He lived somewhere around 200 CE to 284 CE, or in other words, in the uh, third century of the Common Era. We have some difficulty establishing his dates, as we do with many of the mathematicians of this Greek era. So these are definitely uh, estimates, and there's some, uh, you know, some detective work by uh, math historians uh, as they look through different resources and sources to try to come up with these dates. So really, all of the dates that we put down in this whole first unit. Uh, are somewhat uh, questionable. Guess where he was from? Yep, Alexandria, Egypt. He's sometimes known as the father of algebra, and he did a lot of number theory. His main work was Arithmetica, which is 13 books, had 130 problems and is that are basically equivalent to solving equations, especially linear and quadratic type equations, and, and perhaps some others. Some of these had unique solutions, but most of them had multiple solutions. But he was only concerned with natural number solutions, or at least rational number solutions. And this idea of finding solutions within just the natural numbers, or just within the rational numbers, is now known as Diophantine analysis, named after him. He was very much number equation oriented not as much geometric as the other uh, mathematicians that we have been studying. And so there is the, the, the germ, the root of algebra there, definitely in his work. And he came up with techniques for solving these problems. They're very similar um, to some of the, the things that you have seen in Mesopotamia or even in Egypt, where it's not so much theorem proof, theorem proof, uh, like like Euclid would have laid out in the elements, but rather uh, here are some problems we want to solve them. Here are some techniques that would work for that, and he came up with some some rather interesting uh, techniques for solving these. So we do have some roots of algebra, not only geometry but also algebra, going back to the ancient Greeks.